So here's where we started, and here's where we ended up. It took about 14 months to create. This video is the final exiting video showing the craftsmanship and efforts that went into Icon FJ40. This is number 80. This truck is finished in uh, one of our newer colors called Eucalyptus Green, which I'm a big fan of. We literally took the leaf off of a eucalyptus tree and uh, had it spectrum analyzed the bottom side of the leaf and played with the tones and came up with this one. As with all Icon, that's a Teflon polyester hybrid powder coat finish. So no CFCs or VOCs and way stronger than uh, paint. Paint kind of sucks. So I'm going to cruise down to my usual local photo haunt here. There's our cast brass lizard on the front. He's done by a jeweler back east using the lost wax technique, which is kind of a revival of an old school tradition that's all but been abandoned these days. This is a really nice, straightforward, simple icon build. Um, there's no winch, as you can see. This does have the sport brakes. It also has the CNC sport pedals, the Chilowich textile, the tuck and tumble rear seat, uh, carbon fiber three-stage seat heaters for the front seats. Uh, we did the basic Alpine audio with the iPod link. And uh, that's really about it. It's built with all terrains on the uh, ATX Teflon American Racing wheels. This truck drives so nice. Um, the client wanted it topless, but the windshield frames jiggle around and that just drives me nuts. So we built him this uh, custom uh, bikini top uh, as a bonus. Uh, it's an insulated top crafted out of three ply uh, Mercedes German canvas with uh, Bentley 10X snaps and uh, nylon hold downs that are all UV stable. And there's a little extra detail on it in that uh, we see and see these cool collar braces and then there's one inch tubular forms that go from the roll cage to the windshield frame. So then the bikini is tethered around that so it shuts up. It's nice and quiet, but keeps you in the shade. There's a quick pan of our CNC stainless side emblems. And here you see the LED headlights and the Griffin aluminum radiator and some other details in the nose. Steering box, as with all icons, is running the illustrious Tom Lee mill spec box, just a piece of art in its own right. Under the hood, this particular truck is running the 5.3 LM4, which is an aluminum blocked LS generation running Vortec truck intake and injectors for 350 horse, 400 torque. And there's the newly integrated Volant uh, air cleaner assembly, which I'm really happy with. Those grab handles on the doors are cast aluminum. They're not plastic, as their grab handle on the dash is also actually powder coated stainless steel. Then those latches for the windshield frame are stainless. Glove box doors 6061, as well as the instrument cluster. Dash knobs are aluminum as well. All that CNC'd, except for the um, dash knobs, which are actually CNC'd and then knurled on a 1940s lathe in house, and then we enamel them by hand. Tuffy center console shown there inside the Tuffy in that front sub compartment is a great spot for hiding the audio and the CD controls. In this rear seat, we offer two different a tuck and tumble, which this is, or the side-facing jump seats. This seat uh, tucks and tumbles forward, or it's also removable, <coughs> although it's kind of a pain in the butt to remove. Here you see our full-width inside plane storage locking compartment for the tailgate. We put the lug wrench, wheel key, and craftsman kit. Here you see the rear speakers and power port. Front speakers are also integrated, as you can see there in the kick vents. Quick little pan of the underside. It's almost a shame to put the body on these. I don't think a lot of people take the time to get underneath them and really understand the depth of detail that we geek out on here. So as you can see, everything's ceramic, powder, stainless, or 8.8 .8 domestic coated. Those were the StopTech brakes. Here you see the Fox Racing shocks and Eibach coils. We're running a triangulated four link in the rear, running those one-ton Johnny joints, which are great, no Himes. We're running tunable torsion bar with blade arm style sway bars. Here you see the Magnuson stainless muffler and exhaust. There you see the polyurea coating detail on the underside of our aluminum body. There's the front axle, which is a Dana 44 Dyna track with uh, superior axle and fine spline internals. And there you see the big ass stop tech brakes. 
And uh, I always hit my head on the rack on that pan. Oh, I didn't this time. And there's the monstrous Pro Rock High Pinion Dana 60 rear axle. Here's another quick pan of it. So as always, I appreciate y'all's support for my antics. I know our price points suck, but it is what it is to create what we create, and we're proud of what we do here. Any questions, 818-280-3333, icon4x4.com.